Hello everyone, it's Lady L with Lady L Life Talks. Where is your light in this darkness? Are you struggling with something today? Are there decisions that you need to make today that feel difficult and heavy? Are you filled with anxiety trying to figure out which direction or which step you should take? God has actually given us an answer to all of these questions, doubts, and uncertainties. The answer is written in his word. The answer is always written in his word. Psalms 119 verses 105 from the NIV version reads, Your light is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. The word will guide us as we walk, run, crawl through this chaotic world. As we walk through a world that is filled with spiritual darkness, his word will always light our path like a flashlight so that we know our next step so that we know where we're going, so that it doesn't cause us to stumble or have us make someone else stumble and fall. A little further down, we're going to read in Psalms 119 verse 30. It reads, The unfolding of your words gives light, it gives understanding, to the simple. This scripture, this scripture literally is a quiet time to study out by yourself. Okay? Let's focus for a minute on the word unfolding. Think of a blanket that's been folded. This represents God's word. It has layers to it. A folded blanket in a snowstorm is useless. But if unfolded, it has layers that will blanket you and cover you from that point on. In order to unfold it, there must be action on your part. Hmm. Do you unfold and look deep into God's word? Do you do it in the morning? Do you do it at night? Or do you only do it when there's a need and there's a tragedy and you need help? Or something's going on in your life where bills to pay, boys of friends have left you, husbands have, have gone astray, and now you cry out to God for direction. We should be doing this every day every day okay when you wake up in the morning or throughout the day do you look forward to reading god's word and getting guidance and direction from it do you unfold it so that you can look at the whole thing and not just the word holy bible do you Look in anticipation in the direction of the word so that it tells you where to go. Hmm. These are very serious questions. And the, we have answers. The Bible always has answers. God's word can shine a light to make any darkness that you feel oppressing you to flee. It says it gives understanding to the simple. Hey everyone, let me tell you something. This is literally one of the prayers that I pray and I make to God all the time. I say to God, please show me where I should go. Light a path for me. Show me 
in the simplest way possible. If I were blind, please blow a trumpet to draw my attention to where I should go. If I were deaf, please shine a strobe light so that in no way possible could I get lost because I'll see it and I'll know what direction to go. I can't miss it. It's a strobe light and it's shining and it's beaming. That is God's word. I need that much help. I really do. I crave his direction. I do not want to stray to the left or to the right or the right or to the left of whatever the Bible says. I want to make a straight path so that I don't stumble and I don't cause anyone coming up behind me to stumble as well. You know, and that's that's the whole thing, guys. We don't want to stumble. We don't want to cause anyone to, to stumble behind us. People are looking at us. People are judging us. People are seeing the things that we're doing. And we need to be a representation to God. I'm paraphrasing it. But in Isaiah 55, uh, verse 10 through 11, it states that God's word never returns to him empty. It always accomplishes what he sent it to do. Check this out, everyone. Let's read John mm, verse 1. Actually, let's rephrase that. Let's read John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. Okay, we're going to go ahead and read it now. It reads, in the beginning was the Word, check this out, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life. And that life was the light of all man. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Can you believe that? I mean, really, did you, did you listen to these words? Did you catch it? Just in case you didn't catch it on the word that I was reading, it says the word is Jesus. God literally, literally gave himself to us in the form of the word, his Bible. Wow. Okay. I will be doing, I'm thinking of doing a video explaining this in more detail. Subscribe, click the notification bell so that you won't miss this future video when it comes out. So before you rush out today on your own strength and make decisions that may affect the rest of your life in more ways than you can possibly imagine, take a moment, pray, pick up the word, Jesus, listen to him, and continue what it is that what he says that you need to do. Get wisdom, gain knowledge, find guidance, and cover yourself in the light. Now, here's the thing, everyone. If this video helped you in any way possible, what I need you to do right now is to please take a moment to bless someone by scattering the seed of his word, Jesus, 
by liking and sharing this video with anyone that you know. And like we like to say at Lady L Life Talks, go out, be blessed, and bless others. Ta-ta!